Hello, family. Hi, everyone. Today's topic, a topic under um, the Wisdom of God series is, is fasting. Now, if you, if you take part in, in, in fasting, it's, it's not, and if it's just about, you know, eating or, or not eating or drinking or not drinking um, liquids or, or eating the food, then you've missed the important part of the fast. And the whole idea behind fasting is it's, it's for the spiritual benefits. You know, uh, fasting family, uh, whether from food or, for, or, or from some activity, it's, it's about getting your attention. It's about taking your attention off the problems that you might be going through or um, it's about getting the attention off yourself. And it's about saying, Father, I'm, I'm, I'm here in your presence. And apart from praying, I'm also fasting because I want, I want to devote myself to you now over this next hour or half a day or, or, or a full day or a, a week or two weeks or whatever the case may be regarding your, uh, your actual um, objective behind the fasting. <clears throat> and it's all about focusing, uh, instead of focusing on food or focusing on chocolates or focusing on cigarettes or focusing on, on, on an activity that takes your attention most of the time, the idea here is, is that your focus will instead be on God. And it's about your relationship with Him. And, and of course, it's about your own spiritual vitality. That's what's uh, that's what the whole idea behind fasting and, of course, prayer is about. And let's listen to some scripture. Read Psalms 35, verses 12 and 13. They repay me evil for good and leave my soul forlorn. Yet when they were ill, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. Matthew 6, verse 16 to 18. When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disguise their faces to show men they are fasting. I tell you the truth, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that it will not be obvious to men that you are fasting, but only to your Father who is unseen. And your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Amen. Yes, this is exactly uh, what it's about. Um, another point that we need to, to focus on is that when we do go into fasting, um, it's, 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 it's something between that's going to take place between you and God. And it's about, you know, less, less attention on you, uh, less focus on you and more on God. And the idea then is to do it. It's to do it discreetly. You don't. You don't have to. And that's what Scripture is teaching us. You don't have to tell everybody, "Hey, I'm fasting today, and that's why I'm looking so glum, and that's why I'm looking so, so, so peaked or uh, so pale because I've been fasting now for for five days." And and then you know what? Then you're wasting your time. Then don't even worry about fasting because then it's about you again. And the idea about this fasting is it's about drawing closer to God. And, you know, let's face it, nowadays we, we fast, and, and it was like that in the Bible too, in the days of, of the saints and, and others, uh, is that people fast and pray in times of great stress and, and, and distress. Um, and, and, and the reason being is because like, like today, family, we, we all go through difficult times and some of us way worse than others. Let's, let's, let's face that fact. However, it, do you see how this garners all our attention? This, this, this draws, this attracts our attention and it's off God. But when we pray, when we fast, when we think about these things, it's, it's when we come before the Lord and say, Lord, it's in your hands and, uh, I'm, I'm fasting today or I'm fasting for the week or whatever. Uh, you, you know, you, you, you choose to do. It's saying, Lord, I just want to draw closer to you. I'm also, Lord, I need you to, to give me some answers. Lord, I, I, need, I need to find the peace in my life. I need to find answers. And this is where it comes in. And if we're able to do that, then I think you're going to start seeing a difference in your life as well, especially in your relationship with Jesus. Things are not going to be as bad as what it is 
it it used to be or what or what it, it it appears to be because god starts to to work and he's and and because you show in your obedience and your love towards him so think about it maybe some of you have fasted and you know what i'm talking about and maybe some of you have not fasted yet you've not fasted and prayed you've not set aside time try it um do it because all you're going to do is you're going to honor god you're not honoring man you're not honoring anything uh any any uh, corporation or, or uh, any group, you, you are going to be honoring God. And that's what is important here, is that your relationship develops more, it grows more with, uh, with Jesus. Let us pray. Father, all praise, honor, and glory belong to you. Father God, strengthen us to fix our eyes on Jesus. Let your word equip us to follow Jesus' example. And thank you that when we put aside time to fast, we can draw closer to you and we can spend more time in your presence. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you all and strengthen you um, as you decide to go into, into fasting and prayer. God bless you all.